All right, welcome back. And we're going to do something a little bit different. And I, I've noticed this on social media like Facebook and such, uh, Instagram and stuff lately, is this idea of these mathematical memes. And if you don't know what I'm saying, is these little puzzles are coming out and people are arguing over the answers and such. And so I thought it'd be interesting to look at um, how this works and maybe we could do some creative problem solving on how to figure this out. So. In this sense, we have some equations that have shapes. There's no, and there's an answer. Okay, and each shape represents a different number. So in this situation, all the triangles. Uh, I have a bunch of triangles. Uh, I'll use black here. Um, you can see a triangle there, 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 and there. Um, they all represent the same number. So for each of those equations, whether it's two or six, they're always going to be that number. Again, with the squares, these are all the same number. And all the circles, just the two of them, these are the actual the same number. Um, I haven't actually figured out the answer to these yet, but I just want you to know that we're gonna try and f you know use some problem solving to figure out what does equal 17. And we can use the information from all three equations to kind of puzzle this out. And so if you're interested and you, and you like doing this kind of thing, maybe pause right here. I'm not gonna go over it, but maybe pause right here and see if you can figure it out. Okay, so in this situation, we have each shape representing a number again, and I have stars, triangles, and circles, and we're going to find the number that each shape represents. So what I notice right away is that um, I have two stars in each of these, but only one star here. Well, that's really interesting to me. So I got to do some guessing and checking. So guessing and checking is probably the easiest way to do this. And so let's try, um, let's look at maybe this first one. So the answer is 14, two stars and two triangles. So let's try the number seven. So we're gonna substitute seven plus seven plus triangle, pl oops, plus triangle. Does that equal 14? I think seven's not a good number because these two guys right here equal 14 in itself. That means there's gonna be, even if these triangles equal one, I'm still gonna be over. So seven is too high. Um, if I go to, let's say, uh, six, you know, 14 equals, and we'll try six plus six. Well, six plus six plus, six plus six is 12. That would leave us two over. That could mean that each triangle is one. We can go with that for now, but let's look at the second one here, this one here. If we use that idea that the star is a six, so now 12 equals six plus six, and we're assuming that the triangle is a one, we're at 13. So I know that six can't work because these two guys right here already equal 12. So my theory of it working in the in the 14 one, that worked, but when I use that star as a six, in the number 12 spot, that doesn't really work either. So let's try. So this is this is called guessing and checking. So I'm going to continue to guess and check. So this was idea number one. Um, let's try that 14 again. Let's say it's fives. Let's say five plus five. And again, I'm saying five plus five because um, I'm saying this maybe is a five and this is maybe a five, okay? Well, if five plus five is 10 and that would leave us four left over. So if we have two triangles right here, um, they'd have to be two each because two plus two is four. So that does work at the moment. Five plus five plus two plus two is 14. Let's see if it can work for what it equals 12. So that was star plus star plus triangle. So we're gonna assume that stars are five, so five plus five. And we said that maybe the triangle is a two. Well, does that work? Five plus five is 10 plus two is 12. So, hey, I think we got it. It's worked for two. So now let's move to the 10. We have a circle. I don't, we haven't really puzzled that out yet, but we do know that the star is a five and the triangle uh, is a two. Five plus two is right here is seven. What is left over to get to the 10? That means three. So what we're saying is the star equals five. We're saying the triangle equals two and the circle has to equal three. So some um, some guessing and checking and trying different numbers to see what could work. All right, I'm gonna get you to try this one. I got objects and then these objects are sports equipment or, or objects that you score with or whatever. Each object represents a different number. 
find the number that each object represents. So I'd like you to pause. I'd like you to do a lot of guessing and checking and see if you can puzzle this out. All right, so we have a football, we have a soccer ball, and we have a hockey puck. And so the first one maybe is the easiest one to look at. It's football plus football plus football equals 30. Has to be three of the same number. Well, I got to just right off the bat to divide this by three. And if I divide this by three, um, or saying three times something equals 30, what does that work to? It's got to be 10. 10, 10, 10. So we, we puzzled that one out. Football equals 10. So maybe I'll put that, draw football, here's the laces, equals 10. Well, so now we can plug in 10 to these other guys, okay? Now we have 10 plus soccer ball plus soccer ball. Well, what is left over? 18 minus 10 is eight. So we have two soccer balls, that means eight has to be divided into two, that's four each. So now we know what the soccer ball is, four and a four. And now I can put a four and a four here. Okay, now um, I have a, a soccer ball minus a hockey puck, which equals two. So four minus something equals two. Well, four minus two equals two. So then I can put the puck there. Puck is two plus 10 plus four equals, I'll do there, two plus 10 is 12 plus four is 16. So um, that solved that final equation there. So soccer ball equals four and the hockey puck equals two. All right, there you have it. Um, for some reason, everyday life, this is happening. We are seeing this on social media a lot and people are getting in big arguments over these things. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, just, a, just a fun way to do equations and puzzle things out. So please remember, in life, math happens. Take care.